Have the GTX 1180 specs been revealed? Well, maybe. Let's discuss. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. Speculation and rumors on NVIDIA's next GPU architecture have been flooding the internet for months now. From the GTX 2080 and now 1180, we've seen the rumor mill spark again and again. Of course, it doesn't help that for nearly a year, it's been nigh impossible to find a graphics card at a reasonable price. So users are patiently waiting on these cards for fear of purchasing their current gen just to be overshadowed by a new launch. Well, I have some kind of good news. I, I say kind of because there's a pretty big caveat to it. But first, this brings up an issue I've seen some users have with my content. They have a problem with my videos addressing possible concerns I may have over a leak or rumor that makes it appear I'm going back and forth as to a particular piece of news and ultimately not saying anything. Well, I do that because I'm always trying to be transparent as to some possible concerns I may have, and I like to go over why I have them as well as show other sources. And there's been plenty of times I flat out haven't discussed something I'd love to because I don't think there's enough there. Basically, my goal is to give you all I have and let you determine if it's something you want to believe or not. I'll offer up my opinion and give examples or trends that I say to validate said opinion, but without an official source, I can't ever state something as fact, no matter how great it would be to reveal said piece of news. I just can't do that in good conscience. Okay, now back to this news. There was a database entry made on TechPowerUp's website that seems to give us quite a bit of details on the upcoming GTX 1180. The caveat, though, is that it clearly states the entry is a placeholder page, as well as that it can change in the future. So basically, this seems to have been added with the data from rumors instead of an official database entry. With that said, it doesn't mean it won't be right. These are mostly up-to-date rumors, and as many know, the closer we get to a release, the more accurate said rumors become. So now that I've explained its officialness or lack thereof, we can still discuss it. So what does it say? Well, according to the entry, the 1180 is running on a 12 nanometer FinFET design, which is a nice upgrade to Pascal's current 16 nanometer transistor size. It comes with 3584 CUDA cores and 224 TMUs. That may sound eerily similar to the 1080 Ti, considering it also has 3584 CUDA cores and 224 TMUs. Well, there are a couple differences. For one, the raster processors are less on the 1180, but the 1180 has 16GB of GDDR6 versus the 1080 Ti's 11GB of GDDR5X. The 1180 is also shown to have a 200W TDP versus the 1080 Ti's 250W. That somewhat makes sense given its die strength, but at the end of the day, it would more than likely bring a slight improvement with its new architecture. With that said, there are some serious problems I have with these specs beyond it being so close to a 1080 Ti. For one, the memory bus is so small that the higher speed of the GDDR6 RAM ultimately gives it less bandwidth to the 1080 Ti's. That's somewhat understandable since the 1080 has the same bus size and the 1180 would ultimately be faster than the 1080. It's just not the same bump in specs we're used to with the new generation and architecture. It gets worse though. The codename is GV104, which if you know about NVIDIA's codenames, that tells us it's running on the Volta architecture, which it says right here. Well, while we haven't heard anything definitive from NVIDIA, there's been so many rumors pointing to either Ampere or Turing replacing Volta, and the next-gen consumer cards relying on this new architecture to power them. Then, I find the lack of tensor cords a little odd, since NVIDIA's real-time ray tracing tech only works completely on their next generation cards and Volta. It was assumed, and pretty much confirmed by NVIDIA, that this is due to the use of tensor cores, a combination of FP16 and FP32 computes that allow for faster, albeit not as accurate, calculations that are great for both AI as well as ray tracing, since that's pretty much the main difference between Volta and Pascal. Sure, there's more cores on Volta, but if this is Volta and it doesn't come with tensor cores, I'm unsure how it can handle ray tracing while the 1080 Ti can't. Basically, it's certainly a nice step up from this generation's 1080, but it's nothing we haven't seen before, which, if true, may have summoned disappointment. So while that does it for today, what do you think of this supposed 1180? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like the video and want to keep up on all things gaming hardware news and reviews, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.